To repeat, a little departure from the normal rules tonight, two famous mystery challenges. The first one to be met right now, if the blindfolds are all in place. Are they, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. With the blindfolds all in place, I would ask our mystery challenger to enter and sign in, please. As you know, in the case of our mystery challenges, we go to a different form or a variant form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with Dorothy Gilgallon. Have you ever studied dentistry? <laughs> uh, no. One down and nine to go, Mr. Bishop. Does the uh, World Series have anything to do with your being in town? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Uh, do you have anything to do in the world of politics? Uh, no. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Well, are you then a representative of the entertainment industry in some way? Uh, no. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, excuse me, John, may I have a clarification? Yes. Uh, when Bennett said entertainment, does that include sports? Yes. Oh. Well. Oh. Uh, are you... Do you work for a non-profit making organization? Yes. Bishop? Uh, would you happen to be appearing at Madison Square Garden? No. I'm oh, finished. I thought I had it. <laughs> no, actually, I will say there to do justice, Joey, that uh, the question is a legitimate one. Asked in terms of this day, we would have to say no, but there has been a very recent appearance in that area. Well, uh... Billy Graham was scheduled to appear. Oh. <laughs> I don't, Joey, does you? Yes, you got it. You well, got it. It is you. That's the least you could expect Reverend from a bishop. <laughs> I, think, I think I was hoping he'd be here. <laughs> well, actually, uh... I think to clarify, for those who have not been in New York the past week, uh, Dr. Graham has had a three-day crusade at Madison Square Garden, but it ended yesterday, and so we could say I properly... I thought it was Friday, Saturday, and, and Sunday, today. It was, was finished end. today at noon. You were quite right. I oh, was just I kidding see. a bit. Oh. <laughs> because I knew you had it. Oh. Well, I must... That's the first time I've ever guessed as many times <laughs> I've been on. I'm and by very... the way, I think you'd make a very good bishop. <laughs> We consider... now, somebody will please revive my mother and father. <laughs> I must say, sir, that it, uh, it's wonderful to have you in New York, but if memory serves me right, and I think this is a, a very excellent and apt demonstration of how this world of ours is shrinking, Last Sunday, if memory serves me right, you were in Berlin, and you spoke in Berlin to 100,000 people. That's right. Gathered here within the, the very body politic of godless communism, this little island. And I'm sure that uh, there's nothing quite as heartening to us, even as far away as we are, to know that when you go to Berlin, there is this outpouring, this rededication to the principles of, of uh, a god and man's responsibility to Well, it was very thrilling because the uh, meeting was held right on the line between East and West Berlin. And I stood on the steps of the old Reichstag and to preach the gospel to that many people and the communist people had pulled up six tanks and armored cars back of us. Uh, they were, and yet there were hundreds of people lined up on the other side watching and listening as the loudspeakers carried the message over there. And uh, about 40% uh, of the audience out before me was from East Germany. Many of them had even come from Poland and Hungary to attend the meeting. And it was, uh, it, it was really a tremendous thing to, to see this, and a most heartening one, as you've just said. Well, you've had a heartening year, I'm sure, because I know that you've had, you haven't been home any more than four or five weeks, I That's think, in all. the past 12 months. You've been, been to Africa, in... South America, and all over Europe. That's right. You're going to stay home a while now? Yes, I'm going to stay home for the next few months. Good. We're lucky to have <laughs> you, you home John. for a while. Nice Thank to you have you much. with us.